Our learning target for today is I can compare and order two decimals to the thousands and represent comparisons using these symbols greater than, less than, or equals, 5.2b. Our vocabulary terms for today are compare numbers and order numbers. Compare numbers means to examine the differences between numbers, quantities, or values to decide if it is greater than, smaller than, or equal to another quantity. Order numbers means to put numbers in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. Some of you may have remember seeing symbols like these before. This one over here is indicating greater than. The picture down here shows eight is greater than three. This one is our equal to, which shows five is equal to five, so they are equivalent numbers, they are the same. And this one over there here is our less than, showing that two is less than seven. All right, let's do a little bit more practice. Which of the following is greater than six and 12 hundredths? We have A, six and 102 thousandths, B, six and 21 thousandths, C, six and 112 thousandths, or D, six and 125 thousandths. So we wanna know which of these is greater than that number. So we can go ahead and build a T-chart for that also, six, and 12 hundredths. From our left and we move over our right and I'm going to go ahead and put my zero here just so that I can see that I have three digits in each of these numbers. So these are all sixes so these are all going to be equal on this part. So we're trying to figure out what is larger than this number right here so I'm going to put a little star right here indicating this is my number that I'm looking to find one larger. So now I'm going to move to the right to see which digit is larger in the next place value in my tenths. I have one, 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 and one. Well, that's not going to help me because all these numbers are the same. So now I need to go ahead and move over even further to the right to see what I have that's larger. Well, I have two and I have zero. Okay, so zero is not larger, so I'm going to go ahead and cross out that number. letter B. Let me add that on there. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so I'm still going to go ahead and cross out this. I can go ahead and cross out this one because I know that zero is less than one. So next number, we're in the twos. So I have that, and this is less than two, so I'm going to go ahead and cross out this one. And this is the same as two, but then if you look at the next number after that, this is an empty space or a zero, and we have five. So our correct answer for this one is going to be D, six and 125 thousandths. All right, number two, look at the four number cards below. Card A has 20 and 304 thousandths. Card B has 20 and 403 thousandths. Card C has 20 and 43 thousandths. And card D has 20 and 430 thousandths. Which number card has the greatest value? So we need to see which one of these is the largest, has the greatest value. So let's go ahead and start our T-chart. Draw our line. Double check that I got all my numbers. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we want to know which one of these is the largest. So we start over here on the left. Well, 20, 20, 20, 20. They're all the same. So we have to move to the right. So we have a three, a four, a zero, and a four. I know that zero is less than four and three. So I'm going to cross this one out. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and cross this one out because it has a three and the other two are fours. So now I have two numbers left that I need to go and ahead and check. So I've got 20, 20, four and four, and then I have zero and three. Well, out of zero and three, what is gonna be the larger number? The three. So my correct answer is 20, 20 and 430 thousandths. So it is going to be card D is the greatest value on that one. All right, number three, which of the following statements is true? A, one and 230 thousandths is greater than one and 320 thousandths. B, two and 405 thousandths is greater than two and 450 thousandths. C, three and 471 thousandths is greater than three and 417 thousandths. D, four and 528 thousandths is greater than four and 258 thousandths. So we can go ahead and take a look at this to see which one's greater. We can do our organizational chart, or since we're only doing two numbers, we can just go ahead and look at these and check it off. So we have one and one, two and three. Well, is two greater than three? No. So this one is not going to be correct. So we can go ahead and cross that one out. Letter B. We have two and two. Okay, so that's good. Then we have four and four. Okay, we're good so far. And we have zero and five. Is zero greater than five? Than a five? No. So we can go ahead and cross out B. Letter C. Three and three. Four and four. Seven and one. One and seven. So we have the four. And then is seven greater than one? It is. So let's go ahead and put a little question mark saying this could possibly be the correct answer because it's saying that three and 471 thousands is greater than three and 417 thousands. But let's go ahead and check D. We have four and four. We have five and two. Okay, so we're larger there. Two and five and eight and eight. Little question mark because we have four, four, five, two, two, five, and eight. So this five is larger than two. So this is indicating greater than also. So for this one, C and D are both correct. Any questions? If you do, this is a perfect time to discuss them with your teacher. Have a great day.